Hey, thanks for stopping by to see what Keith says today. Listen, this is a beautiful little place out here in Middle Tennessee, south of Nashville. Uh, it's a place called Homestead. It's, a, it's like a restaurant and some other things. Built around the 1800s. Uh, this is not it. <laughs> this is part of the, part of the property. But uh, when I was driving around, uh, just looking at what was here and, and was meditating on a thought the Lord had given Georgie, was just meditating, was driving around. And I saw this and we stopped to look and see there's a fountain over there and some other things. But look at this right here, right there. Okay. That tree has literally grown into the building. Now, we don't know when, how old this tree is, but it's huge. It's a huge oak. I think it's a black oak. And uh, uh, it's, it's just a very strong, stalwart tree because it has a strong foundation. The roots go deep and are spread, and they cover the area, and the winds come through here, and, and uh, there's no brokenness on this tree. You see a lot of broken limbs when the winds come through here at times. But this tree, I looked at it, and there's no brokenness. What's interesting is that tree was there before the building was. And the tree was small. Who knows what size? It was small, but it had good roots. It had grown, grown deep into the ground already. And they built this little shed, this little barn thing. And as the tree grew, the building was too close. And it building tried to infringe upon the growth of the tree. But the tree, because of its strong roots, because of its stalwart nature, that it had a firm foundation, it was able to be strong. And not only did it stand strong and grow straight pretty much, it's pretty pretty straight, a little bit of bend, but not, not much. But literally right there, it literally grew into the barn. It literally broke the limbs and the, 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 the wood as it grew is broken. You can see it if you look at it close, it's broken. The point I'm trying to make today is, I pray that your foundation is firm. You're deep in the Word of God. You're deep in, in, the, in the personal relationship. It's not just having revelation, but it's having firsthand revelation. Getting alone with God daily, finding the time, making the time. Don't find it. you got to make it because a lot of times there'll be other things that come your way that, that are in the way and you won't be able to have the time. You have to make the time to spend with the Lord. To I, I tell a friend of mine, I remind him every once in a while, you have to practice the presence of God. You have to practice the presence of the Holy Spirit. You have to practice praying in tongues until it becomes a natural, normal thing so that you grow and your spirit grows. And then, like this tree, you become strong and stalwart. And no matter what comes against you, no matter who builds something by you or pushes something against you or tries to come against you, you are strong and stalwart in the midst of it. You can be strong no matter who comes your way and what tries to distract you. You're strong in the Lord because your foundation is in Him. Great is our foundation in the Lord. There's a song um, that says, How firm our foundation. And that's what it is in Jesus Christ our Lord. I challenge you today, if you don't have that firm foundation yet, if you don't feel like you have strength against the things that come against you, remember, in the Lord, you have that power, you have that strength. Uh, Psalms, I'm going to close with this, Psalms uh, 22, verse 8, I believe it is. It, uh, the psalmist was talking about that whole chapter. He's talking about the people that are coming against him, the people that are laughing at him, making fun of him. And in, in verse 7, I believe it is, it says, And they even said, Look at him. He trusts in God. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! And in verse 8, the psalmist says, I trust in you because you are my strength. You are my fortress. I trust in you because you are the one whom I desire because I know I can win. Now that's paraphrased. I took a couple different versions. I read it in different translations. And that's all together. I can stand strong in the midst of it. So I encourage you today, stand strong no matter what comes. Hear that wind that's blowing up? That tree is standing strong in the midst of it. Well, that's what Keith has to say today. God bless you. Thanks for coming by. Don't forget, go by touchstonesnetwork.org. A lot of other great articles, great words. Uh, there's a lot more of these little video logs on there. The short ones, there's one up about seven minutes, but most of them are short, two, three minutes. Uh, and then there's some written ones, even down farther, if you follow on down. 
uh, in that section. There's, uh, I don't know, 12, 13 different ones I've written uh, over the period of time. I'd love for you to feel them because it's just short words of the Lord, encouragement from the Lord to help you make it day by day. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by to see what Keith says.